Hi, Dr. Heather here from Wellspring Chiropractic Lifestyle Center. For over 35 years, we've been helping people get healthier. I've probably helped over 10,000 people get their health back in that time. And folks that struggle with scoliosis are among them. In order to know if we can help, we have to first uncover what is the cause. And so we do a very thorough, in-depth consultation so that we can discover what are all the things that have accumulated over time that have landed you where you are right now. We'll go into your history, the traumas, the stresses that have, have occurred, and we also will get your insights. What do you think is going on? What do you think are some contributing factors as well? After that, I'm gonna to wanna to get my hands on your spine so that I can understand what's going on and your body's gonna tell us some things. So we'll do a very in-depth analysis and exam where I will feel each individual vertebrae to see exactly what's happening there, where the misalignments are, and what could be causing the scoliosis in your situation and whether or not I can help. If you can imagine the scoliosis is these lateral curves in the spine, and so if you have poor posture that's contributing to this, we want to know if that's a factor so that we can help you with that. So we're going to go into a lot of detail with that. Then that's going to let us know exactly what exams or scans we need to run so we have the full picture of what's going on. Some of the exams that we may do will include uh, a surface EMG. Surface EMG is going to tell us about dyspanesis and whether there is asymmetry or imbalance in the muscles. We may also do a rolling thermograph. That will uncover dysautonomia and tell us about the nerve supply going to the organs. And it'll let us know whether or not the scoliosis, which you think of as a back or spine problem, may actually be also related to health problems. We also are gonna look at HRV, heart rate variability. Heart rate variability is gonna tell us about whether or not you're in stress mode and what level of robustness do you have? What level of power do you have in your body to be able to manage the stresses that you're under? And whether or not a persistent stress pattern may be contributing to what you're experiencing. We also will look at some brain-based testing. The brain-based testing tells us whether or not the two sides of the brain are in sync and if they're not, that that may be driving why you have the asymmetries, the imbalance in your spine. We also are gonna look at a digital range of motion. The digital range of motion tells us about dyskinesia and where there is fixation and loss of ranges of motion. And then we'll look at a digital posture analysis, which tells us all about proprioception, which is understanding where your body is in space. If the brain does not have a clear idea of where the body is in space, if it doesn't have what we call a clear uh, neural self-image, then it's not going to be able to run that area of the body in a precise and efficient way. So we definitely wanna know about that. Of course, x-rays are gonna be very useful in allowing us to see what's going on inside. It also will allow us to understand uh, whether or not there are any other additional factors. Is there any congenital malformations? Were you born with misshaped vertebrae? Do you have any traumatic injuries that have changed the shape of the vertebrae? Uh, could there be any degenerative change that is occurring? So the x-rays are gonna tell us a lot about what's happening in the whole spinal structure. We'll be able to do measurements of the angles of the scoliosis and this is gonna be a great tool if we do get to work together to measure the improvements as well. Once I gather all of that information, then it's gonna be time for me to study it. And I'm gonna take some time to do that. And when you come back on your second visit, that's when I'll be able to tell you what's going on, whether I can help, if I can help, how long is it gonna take, and what's it gonna cost. So in order to know if I can help, Again, we have to look at all the different factors. And so I'm going to be designing a very specific program for you that's gonna address your individual situation. Part of that is going to be very specific chiropractic adjustments in a program of care, where we're gonna be retraining your system so that it will be functioning at a higher level and the alignment is gonna come into play. The work that I use is a light touch uh, brain-based approach. And what it does is it actually helps the brain to get a clearer 
neural image, a neural self-image of what's happening so that it can start to make changes in the structural alignment. We wanna see your brain running your body more effectively. And if you have a scoliosis, the brain has had a vague idea and is just calling that your normal. We want it to get a more accurate perception of what's going on. So the light touch work actually is very effective with that. One of the things we often see with the light touch work is that there's this beautiful elongation in the spine that occurs, a kind of a, a stretching out of the spine that naturally occurs. And you can imagine that if you do have lateral curves in the spine and there's a lot of compression in there and tension in the system, those curves are gonna be more exaggerated. If you take a, a wavy line and you stretch it out, it reduces the levels of curves. So that elongation that happens with the work that we do is a key part of our good results that we get. We also are gonna to need to be partners in this. So this is a done with you program, not a done for you program. So I'm gonna be giving you homework to do in the form of very specific exercises to reconcile where you have weak sided muscles and tense sided muscles. And so in this exercise, we're gonna be giving you uh, we'll be teaching you the correct way to do it so that at home, you'll be able to actually keep our progress going so that on each visit when you do come to the office, we'll cover a lot more ground. Now we also have to teach you how to break the bad habits that have gotten you into this situation. And those are gonna be things about how you eat, how you move, and how you think. So if you're having stressful thoughts and you're in stress mode, that's gonna be harder to make changes in the system. So we're gonna teach you the best practices of how to master stress. If you have movement patterns that are a concern where you're doing asymmetrical movements that keep perpetuating and, and, and uh, causing that scoliosis to be getting worse or to not improve, then we're gonna teach you the proper way to do those movements. We're gonna teach you what movements are gonna be safest to do and what movements actually are gonna help you as well. Our brain-based assessment is gonna give us a clue on exactly what brain-based exercises we'll be wanting you to do. And that, of course, is gonna be changing things from above, down, inside out. We like to use other processes in the office so that we get our best results. And so vibration therapy has been shown to be extremely effective in getting faster and longer lasting results. When somebody's on the vibe plate, they actually will be getting a challenge to their system where their muscles are gonna be contracting at a thousand times per minute. So we can get a lot more change in those muscle imbalances where the muscles are weak, we can get that strengthening happening much faster. Where the muscles are tense, we can get ease coming into those muscles. Also, the vibration will put some stress, what we call eustress or helpful stress on the bones to make the bones stronger. The vibe plate therapy, whole body vibration actually shows that it improves bone mineralization. And one of the problems with scoliosis over time is that the bones may become misshapen and that may be leading to more deterioration. And that would be if there's a demineralization in certain parts of the bone that cause that collapse. So that whole body vibration can be very useful in maintaining strong mineralization. And especially we find it in teens, the studies show that it's very strong there. We also use kinesio taping. And this is a way for us to reinforce the new proprioceptive information that your body's getting. We call this neuromuscular re-education. And so as we guide you into proper posture so you can start to work on your own with your posture and getting it closer and closer to alignment. If we add the kinesio tape to that process, it's gonna be a constant gentle reminder of how to hold your spine in that stronger alignment, which is gonna keep reinforcing, strengthening the weak muscles and reinforcing, bring more ease to the ones that are tense. When we put all of this together, this is how we get our great results. I hope that we can work with you and see that you can see the changes that you want as well.